All right, now let's let's practice using this because we're in the field. We have the power. We can do good work now. So let's practice compassion. Diane, would you like to explain about your friend? Well, it's my uh, tenant's boyfriend, and he's ex-military. Can you hear me okay? I've got a new mic. Are you able to hear me? Yeah. Okay. So he's ex-military. He's over here all the time. Uh, He's starting to get more and more agitated and angry, um, having violent uh, arguments over there and serious lack of respect. I'm just kind of worried for the woman, and, of course, the energy in my property is is, um, not great right now. So all day I've been working on settling the energy, working with Earth Mind, bringing uh, harmony back around the animals and around my property and directing it towards him. But I, I doused a few questions about working with him, and I was told that I needed help. And so I psychically connected with all of you earlier today and, and uh, brought some energy through. And things have settled down for right now, but um, I think there's more going on with him than... than all I'm right, now, we to want do. to just wrap... Diane in our compassion and have her directed to the to the fellow and to the circumstances and everywhere she, she needs healing down there or re- requests healing of anything particularly the earth mind energies here we go so we're attuning with him first thing we have to do is clear some entities so we clear those and second thing is we will clear the trauma that he carries with him every moment of every day because his subconscious mind that there's not no time or space and its subconscious think is in the survival mode, total fear, because um, the Afghanistan situation is is still around him. So we clear that off. We just neutralize that with an energy flow through the power that crisis in us. We clear and release his shock and trauma from Afghanistan releases it being stuck in that time space that he can't get out of we clear him taking forward in time without the fear the anger and the rage We tell his low self he no longer needs to fight because there's nothing to fight in this reality. He has nothing to fear. Through the power of the Christ within us, we see him in the perfect and normal condition as well as he can be. And we bring in a flow, bring in the galactic flow to neutralize and clear. take him to his next steps of growth and evolutionary consciousness and if clear and protecting Diane and her property and her space and earth mind And we bring in through his crown chakra now a flow from over soul. All the way down to his heart center and up from earth mind. The intent to create the compassion in his heart. 
compassion to come back into the human consciousness again and to rejoin his life and his spiritual flow so he can progress and move ahead in this lifetime and we extend this flow this field we've created around him out through the resonance with compassion and love and understanding to every other vet in a similar situation feel your flows open up now galactic flow intensify releasing them from the hell they live in touching them with compassion from the heart seeing them in perfection through the power of the cards within us we we clear and release this war and all wars from human consciousness we clear earth mind that holds the shock and trauma the Kasich records that keep reinciting the wars Frank? Yes does he have a, an artificial leg? Yes, he does. Because uh, I'm really picking up on that, is that that is the focus of his feeling. I think it may be causing him some discomfort, but he hates it, hates it, hates it, hates it, hates it, and he can't do anything about it. And there's this ter- terrible sense of, of, of anger and sadness that he can't do anything about it. He's weak, weak and powerless to do anything about something like that. But that his power is being taken away. That, this is what I'm, I'm feeling from him. I, I, I was, I've been in tears. I mean, it's, it's really, really, really sad. He's really yeah. sad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what happens is, is they come home with such shock and trauma, and there's no one here to get to get them back on their path again. And they use this as an excuse to be in the state that they're in, and, and to have r- rage and anger and hate and all of this stuff when there's really the challenge to them is to grow beyond it and so we send the challenge the empowerment to everyone caught in this situation to grow and mature and move beyond it and love the leg appreciate the fact that you can walk it all yeah I'm wondering if there's some way you can somehow bring uh, a loving attention to the leg i mean I, i'm just thinking like like a badge or a a, a sticker or a, a a sock or something to make him feel that it's part of him i think that's it. right. it's like alien invasion in his I've body i've done this yeah. before we, we we put our hands on each side of the leg now and we resonate love into the elementals, the elements in his leg, whether it's plastic or steel or whatever, it'll hold this energy we're escalating in it, that the leg loves him, wants to help him, wants to nurture him, and stimulate his loving appreciation of it, gratitude for it also. Frank? I also get that there's a distortion of his uh, his divine masculine self. He, he's distorted as to what masculine energy is between feeling less than and also feeling aggression because of the way he's been trained. 
He's lost something. Yes. It, it, it's all tied in with his self-worth. So we wrap him in a field, and all these individuals in a field of gratitude and appreciation for the contribution they made, regardless of how useless it was. And that's another thing. They felt like it was a useless war, and it was. Yes. All wars are useless. So we appreciate and, and send them the gratitude and love for their efforts so they can regain their self-worth, their manliness, and a point and purpose in life. Empower them now with being able to feel the desire to experience life again to the fullest, as many people do who have artificial limbs or This gives it, this is the challenge is, is to, to evolve beyond the hang up of the limitation to the potential of what his life can be. I think the, the focusing on the mantra, it's designed to help you. It, it, rather than it being an obstacle or a thing, it's there to help you. Uh, you're just spot on there. I have to say, I'm in tears feeling this metal right. place where my nervous system, my etheric body says there should be a foot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really emotional. I can, I'm, tears are flowing down my cheeks, uh, f- feeling into this guy. It's such right. a depth of sadness. The etheric f- foot and, and leg is still there. So we send the healing into it. And give it a life, the etheric, the etheric form of the leg. We give it a, a feeling and of life and vitality, so he does not miss the leg. It's his left leg, isn't it, Diane? Yeah, I'm not sure. I what? don't really know. I don't really know which leg it is. Oh, I feel <laughs> I like haven't seen it in shorts. It, uh, I just get the feeling it, that he, it makes him feel powerless as a man, and he's been trained yeah. that this is what men do in this way, and because he can't, he's he's not a man. He's not enough of a man. So it's back to... Actually, Frank, maybe you could talk about this. What it is to be divine masculine, not to be a soldier, but how to be a warrior. Oh, this is so right. emotional for me. I'm, I'm in, uh, really in tears. Right. We're, we're doing the same thing we do with the clearing the way process now. Through our empathy, our resonance, our compassion, we're becoming him and we're feeling exactly what JP described and we're pushing this out. And we have the right and permission to do this because his oversoul agrees to it. So we push out the patterns, the frustration, the fears, release it, clear it out, out of the subconscious mind. Also the shock and the trauma, the frustration, the feeling, the useless feeling, the emasculation of his manhood. And we extend this out to everyone in the field who is suffering any one or all of these symptoms we extend it out and feel the wave going out to everyone out there now who is a vet clear the patterns subconscious please release the de- the dependence on the patterns so they don't have to they don't have to compete and succeed because of their fear of failure release that (laughs) 
We also assign an elemental to each one of them to help guide them to, to more creative thought and self-worth and vitality. Elementals, we give you the energy, we give the, the, the intent, we give you the form for you to continue to nurture and care for this being now, and all of these beings. This is like creating angels. Now further elementals, please tune in the God Force Consciousness and into the soul flow, the soul stream of all these beings and direct the soul flow, stimulate the soul flow, the, the soul twins, the soul family, to support and empower this being and all these beings, to bring them back into the light of life. Oh, that feels powerful. So they know they're not alone, they're not isolated. Their soul family and their human families are empowering. Their relationships, their friends are empowering. Not enabling, but empowering them. Through the power of the Christ within us. Sustain, sustain, sustain. And so it is. Wow. Thank you very, very much, all of you. I've been howling like a baby. But it's come to a calm place. It's, he's so... It's grief. He's not able to express his grief as a man without punching or hurting or hit it's part of the mind control that they're put to their grief yes. is is channeled into rage i can and, hear it in the tone of his voice yeah when he, when he yells he's got a yelp to it that's just it tears my heart yeah uh, it's, it's yeah and and well we'll see what happens frank well, I'll tell you what's happening. We created a reality shift for him. And, uh, Diane, your, your tenant, and you, I, I don't know if you can talk to him about this or not, but yeah. just being encouraging. Yeah. You can help him heal. Yes. He, he needs to release his grief and know what it is to be a man. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> and do you know really? That's everybody. That's why that's why men are so cr cruel and controlling. Exactly, precisely because that, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is this is touching some very deep uh raw emotions for me and I think it's it's more than me. It's like this is this is what this is the problem that we're not allowed to grieve over and that is what holds the form of the male domination matrix would you agree frank perfect thank you all right hold that thought in mind and flow compassion into it and send it out around the world to heal all of those who have those symptoms The world does not have to suffer. (sighs) 
All right, guys, this is good work, and we'll do more of this, too. Absolutely. I love you all.